Oh. Howdy and happy Thanksgiving. What we're going to do for today is make some butter at home um, with a Daisy uh, number 4 Model B churn. I have two of them that I picked up off eBay and uh, the one on the left came with the glass bottle the one on the right did not and uh, it's a Lehman's bottle and I was under the impression that it would, that would actually work and it does not um, so I will have to uh, hunt for another bottle so if you're looking for a um, replacement glass for a football style daisy like these are don't get the Lehman's one doesn't work um, so there are, I said, two of them, and I picked up the one on the right, actually, with the bottle on the left. But this one here is a, a little bit more slop in the mechanism than this one had over here. So we're going to switch them up and run that one. So I am going to go get uh, some butter or some uh, heavy cream and an assistant, and we are going to get rocking. Okay, here's my assistant. And uh, when I mentioned I wanted to do a butter video, she said she wanted to make the butter. So here she is. Um, she's going to open up the top on the, uh, on the butter churn. Take that out. Put it off to the side. Okay. Open the heavy whipping cream. And I had bought two quarts, but my wife decided that she wanted whipped cream. So now we're going to use that other quart for, uh, for whipped cream. Pour it all in, don't make a mess. Mmm, and we've been letting this warm up for about an hour or so, so it's closer to room temperature. Milk. And not quite milk. Okay, now take the top, put it in, and I cleaned out this already because I don't know the last time this was actually used. And don't cross the threads, there you go. It's, it's tight enough, it doesn't need to be tight. Now I get to mix it, right? Yeah, yep, start cranking. Yeah. <laughs> now do that for half an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to you know, cut the video here and we'll come back periodically to show you the different stages on how it's all working out. And she'll probably, and she'll probably do this watching the parade in the other room too. So. This is awesome. I'm getting sprayed with butter. No, don't not, go so fast. It's not butter. Don't go so fast. Meh. Okay, we're going to go in the other room. Okay, I'd like to say that my lovely assistant cranked the entire time, but she gave up after 15 minutes. Um, and was intermittent at that. Oh, wow. So I cranked for about 45 minutes, and now I think we have butter. So she is going to now pour the buttermilk out. Okay. You leave that spout in. Leave that part in. That's a filter. Okay. Keep some butter, butter in. Pour it into that plastic container. If you can't do it, let me know. Okay. You can't, you can't do it? No, no, no. I will do it. Yeah, okay. Strength. Okay. Oh, keep, keep it going. Oops. Keep it going, it's okay. This is heavy. Wait, wait keep, keep it going. <laughs> You got it? Okay. And I guess you make a little bit of a mess when you do this, so it is what it is. Yum. <laughs> okay, now unscrew the top. Okay. Hey, use two hands on the... There you go. And then put the top in the one bowl on the left, on your right. Okay. On my right? Yes. Now take the bowl on your left, and the, uh, that's good. It's going to fall over. That's yeah, okay, I'll clean it up afterwards. Okay. Now I can get the butter out. Get the butter out with that. I would tip the whole thing over and just pour it in. Okay. Or not. We, get, we have extra spoons over here if you need them. Okay. See right here? Butter. If you have another spoon, you can scoop it off the, the white part. Okay. Okay. 
That looks like butter. I know it's butter. It's butter. <laughs> now I'm butter flavored. Mm -hmm. butter. Okay, I'm gonna go help her get it all out, and then we'll be we'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and got all the butter out of the container, and now uh, she's working the uh, the butter out or the milk out of the butter that's there. We're not going to add that milk, and maybe we'll add it to the buttermilk that we have. I don't know why we would or wouldn't, but uh, what do we do with buttermilk anyway? You put it in biscuits and um, pancakes. Mm -hmm. Usually, I just use regular milk when it calls for buttermilk because I don't feel like going out and buying it. But uh, now we have some. We'll have yeah, for a little bit. Okay, so now take some of those scumps, the tumps of the top. Okay, we're gonna put them in the other bowl. Why don't you move that other bowl closer? There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to uh, work the milk out. And then scoop it all into the other bowl, a little bit at a time. Take another spoon here, this thing here. So you have something else to work with. Thank you. So you can work one against the other. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, stop eating the butter. I know, but it's so good. Tilt it sideways a little bit so you can squeeze some of that out. That's good, because we're going to wash it with water afterwards. Okay, hold on. Oops. Okay, just get all that in there. Keep on going. Yeah. Okay. Get the uh it's not butter. Squish. It's a little Okay, we'll be back when we get the rest of this put into that bowl, and then we'll show you how we wash it. Okay, so we got uh, the first uh, separation done and uh, got the butter out of the buttermilk. Now we're going to wash it, so add some water to that bowl. Okay. Fast enough that it doesn't pour down the back of the cup. Use the spoons and work the butter. We're gonna work it to try to get any of the extra butter or milk out of the butter. Basically, you're washing the butter. So we're gonna do this for a minute, and then when we're all done. We'll be back. Okay, so we're down to the last batch, and so what we do to uh, to get the milk out is I use a big flat wooden spoon and push it with a uh, another wooden spoon, and that allows us to squeeze some of the uh, some of the buttermilk out. And you know we're not going to get it all out, but we're trying to get as much as possible. It'll make it last longer. So just keep on squeezing it. Tilt that spatula slightly on an ink yeah, so that's where hair can run off. And once you start seeing less and less, keep on squeezing it in. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
screw it to the sides, put it in the middle. Take the other side. Squeeze it down. And we just keep on doing that over and over again. Okay, that's probably probably pretty good. So now add that to the bowl of stuff that we have done. And then bring that bowl and put it in the front. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and that would be what we get from one quart of uh of heavy cream. Now my goal is to eventually be able to get it from the Amish, get the heavy cream, as opposed to having to buy it. Um, not that I'm planning on doing this on a regular basis, but when I want to. Um, and then I will um, uh, look at getting on eBay a uh, cream separator, one of the smaller ones. Um, I'd like to try that. And it would look really cool on the uh, cabin wall. So, well, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. This was making butter by hand with a daisy butter churn. Um, if you have any questions, we probably don't know the answers because it's the first time we ever did it, but feel free to ask. So, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Until next time, thanks for watching.